And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome inside the Houston Fieldhouse in the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. It's time once more for RPI Engineers Hockey right here on ESPN+. Plus. This afternoon, it's the second half of a two-game weekend here at the Houston Fieldhouse for the RPI Engineers women's hockey team coming off the heels of a 48-save performance from senior netminder Amanda Rimpato. The Engineers dropped a heartbreaker in overtime yesterday evening against the number 10 team in the nation, the Clarkson Golden Knights. Today, they take on the Saints from St. Lawrence University. Pick up possession and battle alongside Taylor Lum. Here is Sarah Buckvick, low of the goal, centers the feed. Here's Kristoff on the backhand, and a save made by Lucy Morgan. Here is Hustler hustling through the neutral zone, bringing it in on the near side. Hitting the brakes, looking for a trailer. On goal, that one's off the post. Rebound in front, still loose. The shot from the trailer, Puttefint should try to put St. Lawrence on the board on the man advantage. Puttefint, she'll flip into that near corner. Taylor Larson, the first one there, has it poke checked away. Bouncing in front of Rampato, she makes the save. The rebound was loose on the far post, but it's cleared out of harm's way by Price. Laterally across the zone, her shot attempt got blocked. Gosling on the near side, finds a trailer. On goal, saved by Rampato as Kylie Mastel tried to break the scoreless draw so far, but Amanda Rampato out to the top of her She's sharp and you know, I spoke to Coach Wells before the game, and he figured a key to this game was to get out. Most recent action for her and the St. Lawrence team. Here's a player coming on. It's Jones. A partial break in on Rampato to the forehand, and a save. Amanda Rampato stands tall on the partial break for Gabby Jones. will step in. Leave for Papineau. Snapped on goal. That one got blocked. Loose in front. Saved by Morgan. Rebound wrapped in front of the goal. Stopped on the near side. Kaiser trying to center. It'll roll its way to the near corner. Far corner. Lum hits the brakes. Flips it back to the point. The oncoming player is McLeod. And Rampato makes the glove save. Coming out to the top of the crease to take it away. Kaiser and Larson. Here is Kaiser, near side, snapped on goal, glove saved by Morgan. She will hang on, and then a collision right in front as Kristoff was spilled to the ice. She got knocked down by Rachel Bjorgen right in front of Morgan's net. After the battle, after the save was made, we'll find it. Back up top for Ellie Kaiser. There are the three players on the point that you remarked about yesterday. Stepping in is Papineau. Snapped on goal. Save made. Rebound was in front for Chris Lack. Keeps it in. Hustler to the top of the circles. It's ball on goal. Gloves saved by Rampato, and she will hang on with 9.35 to go in the and second that period. That ended in a 2 2 tie. Then you had yesterday's game against the Union Dutch, Dutchman, and today, and that is the fifth game in nine days, as Morgan will glove it down. Laterally back towards her own bench. Gosling steps in, top of the circles. One-timer, save Rampato, rebound loose in front of the goal and cleared out to center on the right rebound. Away, so she pins it along the boards, but it's taken away. Sent up top for ball, fakes the shot, had a player dive in front, it was Wagner. That one's blockered away by Rampato. A good patience play by ball, sent from below the goal in on Amanda Rampato. She will close the legs and hang on. Hustler slows it down. Centering feed, she gets the rebound. And it's cleared out to the line, and it will roll its way out to center, and Phillip will take care Pretty of the good rest. when you have the kind of talent that they do. Here comes Hustler getting around the defense on goal. Save Rampato. Rebound is loose in front of the goal. Papineau is able to skate. Here comes the defender, Ohm. Into the zone right over the ECAC logo to the far side. Wilson snapped on goal. Save Rampato. Rebound snapped on goal by Ball. Hustler, the sophomore out of Prince Edward Island. One-timer, that one's on goal. Rampato makes the save, finds her own rebound. Her bye. On the near side, fighting to get that puck in deep was Wilson. Bjorgen, a backdoor feed in front. Rampato makes the save. She's out of her crease. And on top of the puck, a nice save by the engineer's netminder. And what else is new this weekend here in Troy? Up the near side boards, whiffed upon, picked up by Kaiser. Top of the zone. She's looking backdoor for Wagner. Save made by Morgan. Rebound still loose in front. And a quick whistle before Hildner could get there fresh off the bench. Good chance for Ellie Kaiser looking backdoor for Wagner. As, as you can see, Wagner here gets in a little too tight. Moments later, here is Alexander. Quickly for Zahirni, deflected in front. It's in the crease. Morgan looking for possession. It rolls past the far post. RPI grabs possession in the third, and again, no goals on either side. As Hildner feeds middle, Buckvik tries to get the shot away. Hildner on goal, she scores! <laughs> The loose puck in the skates of Sarah Buckvik was found by Meg Hildner. 
And the engineers have struck Follows first. Up. Look at how she's following up. Goes right top shelf over the shoulder of Morgan. She didn't admire her pass. She follows up on it, flips it up over the shoulder, and RPI is up 1-0. Grab that puck for Megan. And had the opportunity in a top six roll, scoring a huge goal here in the third period to break the deadlock. Here is Puttifin for Gosling, who whipped it on goal in a one-timer. That got the flex sticking call we've seen assessed to St. Lawrence in this one. Just an interesting oddity for the officials and how they like to call the game today. Near side, Papineau to the point. One-timer by Larson. It got deflected. Nobody knows where the puck is. It is in the equipment of the bent-over Abby Hustler. She wore that one right in the gut. The rush. Like. Here is Taylor Zahirny. Loses a couple of players. Knocked in front of the goal. Centering feed. Misses the net just wide. Rebound pop loose. Here comes St. Lawrence in an odd man rush. Led ahead by Snow on the two-on-one. Shalen Snow, and it's deflected off of the diving Tegan Dalby. It ended up missing the net on the near Gains side. Steam from behind the net, now out to center. Phillip keeps it moving for Maddie Papineau with speed. She shoots, and Morgan will make the save and hang on. And a good play there by Maddie. Nina Kristoff with a step around Puttifin. In on goal, she goes to the backhand and tries to one-hand it on net. Morgan made the save. Kristoff went in hard into the net, and Morgan just went down on top of her as Kristoff is slowly coming back to the ice as Lucy. Big hit there from Gosling as the two went careening into the near side boards. Turned over, right in front of Rampato's net to the backhand and it's poke checked away by the engineer's netminder. To the bench goes Lucy Morgan for the extra attacker. It's now six on five as RPI was taking it the other way. There to grab that on the far side. Ball right over the ECAC hockey logo. Snaps it on goal, looking for a deflection. Rampato the save, there is no rebound as Puttifint was right there again, controlled by the Saints. Ball, snaps it on goal, blocked by Wagner, cleared the length of the ice, this one is into the net, they score! A short-handed empty net goal for the Engineers. Six on four after the shot was blocked by Wagner. The length of the ice and into the net, it's two nothing, RPI. Lum for the trailer, knocked on goal, that one missed the net on the far side. Sent back to the point. Hustler blocked by Kaiser, out to the neutral zone. She'll have a shot at the empty net. The horn will sound. It does not count, doesn't matter. The engineers have shut out the St. Lawrence Saints and picked up the victory to split the weekend here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Two nothing, your final. Well,